Assalamu alaikum, uh, my dear students. Mm, this is Saiful Alam, assistant teacher of English, Maskola Secondary School, Satkira Shadar Satkira. Today, uh, we are going to discuss, we are going to repeat the same topic we, st we were studying uh, in the last classes. Uh, let me ask you some questions uh, from the previous classes. Uh, so that uh, you can understand, so can I, so that you can remember. Okay, how many types of narration are there? Thank you. There are two types of narrations. Thank you. What are they? Can you tell me? Yes. Direct narration and another one is indirect narration. Thank you. Uh, can you tell me? Uh, with how many sentences uh, narration is possible? Very good. Yes, there are five sentences. They are assertive sentence, indicative sentence, imperative sentence, optative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. Thank you very much. Let's move to the uh, next session of our class. Okay. There are some necessary changes. Uh, in uh, in tenses, okay, okay, mm. they are necessary changes, uh, necessary changes in tenses, okay, tenses. One is uh, present indefinite. I am writing in short tense, it, it will become uh, past indefinite tense, okay? tense and present continuous tense will become past continuous tense. And present perfect tense will become past perfect tense. Okay. Okay, you, you, you should write with me. Uh, present perfect continuous tense. Okay. Past. Perfect continuous tense okay. and past tense tense uh, past simple tense okay. past indefinite tense will be past perfect tense. Okay. So these are the necessary changes. Uh, we will see uh, in the in the sentences we are when we are going to change from direct narration to indirect narration. So if we find any reported speech in present indefinite, indefinite tense, which will become past indefinite tense. In this way, we will have to change it. <coughs> okay. So uh, uh, let me give you an example so that you can understand. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, if I write. Uh, he said to me, uh, you are happy. So, what will happen? Look at the reported speech. So, within, within quotation mark, uh, so reported speech is here you are happy. So, this part is in present tense, right? Okay. So, when we are uh, making it indirect, this is direct, okay? And this is indirect. So, he told me, so when we are uh, removing quotation marks from here, we will add that. Okay. 
so u <coughs> here u means object okay so it will become i was happy okay so present indefinite tense has become past indefinite tense i think you have understood okay uh, let me give you some more example i think you have written it so let's move to the next next part okay let me show you something else as for example uh he said to me <clears throat> i am taking breakfast So, so look at the sentence uh, within quotation marks. So I am taking breakfast. So uh, here will be a full stop. Certainly, it will be full stop here. So I am taking breakfast. So which tense is it? This is a this is a present perfect, a present uh, continuous tense. So. Uh, present continuous tense present continuous so will become past continuous tense okay so this is direct and this is indirect okay indirect so he told me that so i first person will come here okay i so it will be he it, as it is present continuous tense it will be it become past continuous tense okay so he was taking breakfast okay it is understood so in this way we have to change from one tense to another uh, following this uh, table okay thank you very much uh, let's uh let me tell you uh, another chart that is important for narration okay thank you some words or phrases okay. so direct and indirect okay. if it is today it will be that day okay if it is it will become okay uh, if it is if it is now it will be then if it is uh, <coughs> yesterday it will become the previous day is uh, last year it will become the previous year okay uh, if it is uh, tomorrow it will become the next Day. or you can write the following day okay let me show you 
uh, an example so that you can understand it well. Okay, without giving an example, you will not understand. Let me give you an example. <coughs> it is direct and indirect. Okay, so. Mm. Ronnie said to Raju today I went to market. Okay. So So, Ronnie, so look at the word today, okay, so you will find it here today, if it is today, we, we should write in indirect that day, okay, so Ronnie told, told Raju that I is here, I is the first person. So, he is in bracket, Ronnie, he had, so as it is, as it is past indefinite tense or past simple tense, so it will become past perfect tense, okay, okay, so he had gone to market, okay, market that day. Or you can write it in the beginning. He uh, that day write it here because two conjunct two here is a conjunction that repetition of same word it sounds it's not it, it doesn't sound good. Okay, so write it here. Uh, let me <coughs> move to the sentence. Let me show you something else. Thank you. In the last class, in the last class, we have been talking about uh, there are five sentences. Narration is possible with five sentences. Today we are going to start uh, assertive sentence. Okay. So, before starting assertive sentence, okay, uh, let me write assertive, assertive, so assertive sentence, assertive sentence, okay. Uh, here, uh, note, note please, note, uh, said, said equal to said. If it is said to, it will become told. Okay. Thank you. I'll show you why we have to use uh, those things. Uh, as for example, my mother said. I ate my lunch. Okay. So, my dear students, look at the sentence very carefully. This is an assertive sentence. Okay. It starts with a subject and then verb. So, in this case, uh, look at the verb, reporting is speech and these are called this is the this is called reporting speech so look at the reporting reporting verb this is the reporting verb okay so uh, as i have written if there is said we have to use said okay so this direct and indirect so my mother said okay when we are dropping these quotation marks in indirect narration, 
we have to use that okay when I'm dropping that as conjunction okay that so which tense is it I ate my lunch this is this is a uh, past simple tense okay so if it is if a if there is uh, past simple tense in it in a reported speech we have to transform it into past perfect tense okay so subject uh, I first person always indicates subject so she had this is the structure had and this is uh, so eaten this is the past participle form of it her it will become her okay as subject is she it becomes her lunch I think you have understood. <coughs> okay, L let me show you another example so that uh, you can understand it well. So, direct narration. Okay, uh, my friend said to me. You look pale today. Okay. Indirect. So look at the verb. I think uh, we should uh, wipe this part. Otherwise, uh, it will be difficult for you to pay attention because my board is a bit smaller in size okay it's gone my friend said to me you look pale today so look at the verb here is said to so my friend my friend so if it is said to we have to write told in indirect sentence okay narration told so me me here so when we are dropping quotation marks we have to use that you always indicates object okay <coughs> so uh, i looked Fail that day. Why it is that day? Because there is today. If it is today, we have to use that day in indirect narration. Okay. So uh, today we have been have been starting and uh, studying assertive sentence. Okay. Okay. So let me ask you uh, if there is said. What should we write in indirect sentence uh, narration? Thank you. You have to write what said. If it is said to, we have to write what told. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, my dear students, I think you have understood the topic. Uh, if you have any question, you can ask me. You can comment. Uh, below the video thank you very much bye for now have a good day assalamu alaikum my dear students let me give you some homework on the topic we have been discussing today thank you